this video is to go over to summarize investigation 5c so uh, in 5c you learn how to translate uh, a word problem into an equation and also you build and understand a function machine network and find a recursive uh, function that models a word problem and then also you wrote a rule for recursive function and then you work with recursive function uh, let's work on uh, three problems so it says find 100 uh, 100 23rd output for this recursive rule. Okay, that sounds like a crazy problem, but as you know, if the problem is, gets um, crazy, um, you know, there is some kind of um, secret here. So let's just take a look. Let's make a table because that's pretty helpful. Uh, so we have input, we have output. Okay, and then if the input is 1, this says right here, the top one says it, um, k of x is 2, k of x stands for um, output, and this x is the input. So output is 2 if input is 1, if x equals 1. So if x equals 1, um, output is 2, and let's move on to the next one, it says uh, negative k of x equals negative 4 if x equals 2. So we have if x equals 2, k of x is negative 4. And the next one looks a little um, complicated, but it's not that much. So k of x equals k of x minus 1 minus k of x minus 2. Um, this means, um, I hope you're comfortable with this notation by now, uh, k of x minus 2 minus 1 means it's just a 1 before. So we are looking for this output. So k of, neg uh, k of uh, x minus 1 means 1 before, which is negative 4. Minus k of x minus 2, this means, you know, it's just a 2 before, so you go uh, 1 and 2. So in this case, this means 2. So in order to find k of 3, uh, k of 3, we look at 1 before, which is negative 4 minus 2 before which is 2 so that's negative 6 okay in order to find 4 you look at you take the first one 1 before which is negative 6 minus negative 4 so k of 4 is uh, negative 6 minus negative 4 and don't get confused with this uh, this means plus, right? So negative 4, negative 6 plus 4, that's 2. Okay? If it's 5, you take 1 before and then you subtract uh, 2 before, which is this one. So 2 minus negative 6. I'm sorry, I made a mistake right there. It's negative 2, sorry. That's negative 2. So it's negative 2 minus negative 6 so that's actually positive 4 and if it's 6 then it is 4 minus negative 2 which is 4 plus 2 so it's 6 right let's keep going until we see we kind of see the pattern right here we have 2 4 6 2 4 6 and this next set of it is actually the sign is opposite so my guess right here will be 2 because it goes back to probably this one. Um, so let's try. So k of 7 is uh, you take 1 before, subtract, and you take 2 before, and you subtract that from the first one, that's 2. So, so I was right. So we actually go back. We call this cyclic because it, it cycle, so it goes back here. So if you do next one, you get negative 4. And then if you do, if x is 9, then you get this, and so on and so forth. So, um, um, <clears throat> so we don't really have to, we don't really need this part. Well, anyways, so, so the question is, what would be the k of 123, right? That's crazy. But we know that every six numbers, we go back to here. So, 123, uh, 
we have 20 of 6 1, right? We get 3. So, so we go, you know, if we, if we have 120, uh, we just go, go back, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we go back here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And go back here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, so this number will be always divisible by 6. Therefore, we if we keep just doing it, 120 will be 6. And then we go 121, 123, 2, 123. So the 123 will be negative 6. Okay? Uh, next page. Kevin opens a saving account. At the end of each month, he will deposit uh, $10 in account. At the beginning of each month, the bank pays quarter percent on his balance or 3% three interest, 3 interest annually. The table shows Kevin's balance at the end of the first five months. Explain how the bank calculated uh, balance at the end of each month. So at the end of each month, let me take A. Um, Whatever the money you have, you multiply it by. You get you get uh, one point zero zero two five more, right? Because one fourth is uh, point two five. So, how do we get this, right? Um, so, so yeah, so whatever the money you have, you multiply it by 1.0025 because this part represents one fourth percent. Then you get that more, so I just added to the 100 percent to that. So that's how you, uh, how bank calculate it. Write a recursive rule to find a balance for any month. Um, M, um, let's say we get, so that's B, uh, B of X and let's say that's the bank account and X is the money you want to put. Uh, in this case, um, X, is, um, <clears throat> X is 10. Uh, a B of X is 10 for, for uh, if X is 1. And X stands for a month, right? And uh, B of X will be... So after the first month, you get... Um, 1.0025 times the one you take the one before so b of x minus one and then you add 10 to it because every month you add 10 more dollars to it so uh, this is the part that you get here I mean no 10 uh, for this one uh, right here and then you get ten dollars more but you really get ten dollars and three cents and the, the in interest you get three cents more right here right uh, C what is Kelvin's balance at the end of the year so after 12 months um, you get you get more right so so if you if you extend that if you extend this to 11 following this rule um, you'll find that the next uh, next year and once you find that you get more you, you can easily find well um, says set up a spreadsheet sp spreadsheet uh, you got you could actually use that to find that out um, unless you find a closed form definition the last problem is Melissa's doctor prescribes two grams of amoxicillin each day for two weeks one fourth of the amoxicillin that is in her body on any given day will not be present at uh, next day, so it goes, it flashes away. Um, only three quarters of two grams will stay inside the body and and make a change of the body. So write the recursive rule to find how much amoxicillin is in her body each day. So uh, let's do that. So let's say amoxicillin, and the output is D. Uh, input is D, because D is the the number of day. That will be um, zero if the day is zero, of course, right? And then three quarter that is zero point seven five, and then whatever left from the the um, 
the day before so you get a of d minus 1 that stands for the amount that is from the last day and then plus the fact that you add 2 grams for that day if after right if d is uh, greater than zero so so that means after zero day so the first day you get 0 0.75 plus two grams and and the three quarters of whatever you take for that day will stay in your body and then the next day you get three quarters whatever you get for the last two days plus two grams and so on and so forth so that's how it works uh, B how much amoxicillin is in your body on the third day on the 14th day so you kind of have to extend that uh, uh, the table um, or you can find a closed form but uh, we can do the third uh, third day to just make this video shorter right so you get zero uh, for the first zero day you get zero of course first day you get two grams and then 0.75 so what is that uh, two grams times two grams times the three quarter of them so that's long story short that's three over two grams so that's about 1.5 grams right because that's one and a half and the second day you take whatever this and then the three quarter whatever this one will stay in, uh, in in your body in the morning and then you take two more grams so let's say three over two you got three fourths of them right three quarter of them that gives you nine over eight right and then you add two to it two is you can write it in sixteen over eight so that's twenty five over eight which is uh... three and one eighth gram right and then on the third day you get whatever you get here three quarter of them right to 25 over 8 and then you get a uh, uh, three quarter of that well in your body right so long story short uh, we can do that so that's actually 75 over 32 and then you take two grams of it right two grams of 32 we can convert it to 64 so you add it together uh, 139, 139 over 32. How many 32 can be fit in 139? Uh, four of them, right? Um, you get four of them. So 139 uh, over 32 is four. Uh, so so 4 grams and 11 and 32 grams so that's the answer of it and if you uh, if you want to find out 14 what, what how much uh, you get in 14th day then you can keep going and that's what we've learned in investigation 4a I mean 4a where does that come from 5c